How do you get the guys uh, ready in such a short turnaround? Quite easily for a grand final. <laughs> Let me tell you, they've recovered very well uh, after the game on Wednesday. Um, yeah, they're all just excited, looking forward to it. It's been a short turnaround, but it's for, same for both teams. So we've done our best to recover, and they're looking forward to the game and, and raring to go. What's different about grand final week in, uh, in COVID times other than the short turnaround? Yeah, short turnaround. <laughs> Anything else um, you've had to change or you would otherwise nah. do? Grand final week? No, we've kept everything the same. We haven't changed much at all, um, except for the short turnaround. So just recovery after on Thursday. You know, a light session yesterday. Today is another light session. So it's more about tactical and what we're doing against uh, City because we know how how good they are and and they're a very strong team. So it's going to be a great game, I think. This club's been to so many grand finals the last few years, especially. Do you have a, a routine or like you know anything, any sort of traditions or anything like that pre-game? No, we just try and keep it as much the same as, as a normal game. It is a normal game for these boys. They've been there and done that before, so they, they know what to expect on grand final day and the pressure that they're under. So we just try and keep it relaxed and, um, yeah, so that we can bring out the best in the boys and, and that's what we want. Keep them fresh, keep them relaxed and, you know, get the win. Are you still keeping track of how many grand finals you've been involved with personally? Um, well, I've been involved with all of them at the club, so um, yeah, no, listen, this is why we play football and why we coach, you know, to get into this position to, to make a grand final, you know. Premiership was, you know, fantastic by the boys to win that, six points clear, uh, the best two teams are in the grand final and, you know, we're looking forward to it. It's, it's an amazing day, it's, it's always a great occasion and, you know, it's always better when you win. How important is experience heading into a game like this? Oh, helps. Uh, definitely helps. Like I said, the boys have been there and done that before. There's a couple that haven't from our team, and there's quite a, a lot from their team that haven't been there. But, um, you know, it's just another match again. So we just need to make sure we're ready for it, and whatever they throw at us, we, um, we're prepared for. They have obviously a very good strike force, um, so we have to make sure we defend well, keep another clean sheet like the semi final, and, and uh, tackle when we have the ball. Um, five titles is up for grabs for, for Sydney FC, something mm. that no club's ever done in the A-League or the NSL. Um, yeah. Having played at sort of, you know, Marconi and, and known, I guess, the, the lay of the land here in Australia for a long time, how, how significant is that and how fitting is, would that be for a club like Sydney FC? Well, that's, uh, it'd be amazing if we can win on, uh, obviously, Sunday to do that. So the boys obviously hear that. I haven't put too much on that. It's more about concentrating on the game, once we do win it, well, then that's a little bit of history that they'll be involved in. But, you know, it's exciting to be in, in grand finals. And, and obviously, if we can win it, that's, that would be great to have that achievement. You know, the highest amount of grand final wins in Australia, which is fantastic for the club. Melbourne City are pretty confident because of how they match up with having beaten you this year. Um, why, why is this weekend different? Uh, we've had one win each, so uh, we've been with 10 men down or at our, our ground early on in the season and they beat us recently after we won the Premiership. So now they're a good team, they're, they should be confident, they have good players, they, um, you know, they have good foreigners as well and, and a great attacking team. So you know, I think both teams are going in confident to the grand final, but that's what, what we want, two best teams in the final after all and um, yeah, hopefully it'll be a great game. It's all those out there, what are his chances? Um, not too sure yet. He's, he has really he trained a little bit yesterday, so today is pretty much his first session. So uh, we're not not 100 sure yet. See how he goes after the training. How much confidence you got in King in that left back role after what he's done this season? Oh, you know, he's he's taken the spot really. Uh, Zulo's been out for most of the season, so Joel's played all the season. Got great belief in him. He's done an amazing job. He's grown throughout the throughout the year as well. He's got better and better, and um, yeah, it's it's his spot now. How's um, Alex responded the last few days? He started on the bench, I think, was it on um, in the, in the, in the semi-final? Alex Bamian? Yeah, yeah. Um, I would, can't imagine he would have been happy about that. But so has he responded uh, on the training pitch? Very good. Um, it's like any other player that's on the bench. You know, the, I don't think anyone's happy sitting on the bench. They all want to play, but. Uh, you know, it's all about the team and, and what we want to achieve and he's a big part of that. He's been a big part of that all season um, and I'm sure he'll be a big part of it, you know, come Sunday. Could there be a change in personnel? Was that horses for courses, him being on the bench the other day? Yeah, it's, we'll just see. Obviously, you know, we haven't done too much in training, so we'll see and um, just weigh things up. Obviously, I thought Anthony Caceres was excellent. Um, in the semi-final, but you know, there's always opportunity to freshen up the team with Alex, and um, 
But yeah, I don't want to give too much away. How much is everyone looking forward to the occasion tomorrow? There's going to be 7,000 people in the stands, which is yeah. pretty good, all things considering yeah. the world at the moment. These yeah. guys didn't know they'd be playing again a few months ago. Yeah, like, I, you know, it's, you know, we had that break for three months. We didn't know when we were going to be back. And, you know, finally we got back, finished the season off, and now we're here again, last game of the season again, and we're looking forward to it. Boys are extremely happy and, and excited. It, you know, this is like I said, this is what we play for to, to end up in this game at the end of the season. So, um, you know, we have great experience out there. They're looking forward to it. They showed what they could do in the semi final, put on a great performance, and um, we need another performance like that to win. Thanks, Steve. Thanks, guys.